kids, it's Pastor Austin and Mr. Brandon here with this week's Big Treat. So welcome back and we've got Mr. Brandon back here with us um, to finish out this series or actually begin kind of guides four through nine series of redemption. And as you guys know, um, that when we get to guide four, we have, a, we have a focus that we're kind of on the next several weeks. And so for you guys that are in third through fifth grade, our focus is eternity. And so our challenge to you is as we're walking through guides four through nine of our family discipleship plan, you're looking at these big truths through the lens of eternity. So where do we see eternity in these big truths? So without further ado, this week's big truth is God is our substitute. God is our substitute. Now, time out. You guys may be saying, wait a minute, Pastor Alston, you're on the wrong guide. We've already had this big truth. That's true, but we're going to take a different look at it this time around. So we are going to be talking about that God is our substitute in this big truth. We've got a different Bible verse and a different Bible story, so kind of hang tight. So speaking of, where does that big truth come from? From lots of different verses, but this week we have a very special verse, one that I think you guys probably know, and it's John 3.16. So just to be able to convince you guys that, um, that this is where our big truth comes from, I'm going to read it out of the Bible, but here's what I want you to do at home. I want you to say it out loud um, because I think you guys probably have it memorized, okay? So you guys got to do that at home. Say John 3, 16 out loud. So let me read it for us. You say it out loud at home. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So, you guys know that verse, it's a verse that a lot of us know, but what we want to do is take a look at this verse with the understanding of the big truth. So, God is our substitute. Where is that found in John 3, 16? So, let me read it again. I want you to think about that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So where do we see that God is our substitute? Well, it's because he sent his son Jesus in our place. And that's what we're going to be talking about this week in our guide number four. And then also, remember, eternity is our key word. So we can see that God made a way for us to live with him forever, eternally, in John 3, 16. But it's through his substitute, Jesus Christ. So Mr. Brandon has a hook for you guys to be able to do at home about that. Yeah, so uh, this week, really our hook for this week is for a challenge for you guys just to have a conversation. And this is going to be a super honest conversation. Uh, Mom and Dad, you're going to have to be a little open with your kids. What I want you to do is, as a family, talk about times that you sin against God. Maybe it's, you know, kids aren't obeying their parents like they're supposed to, or Mom and Dad, you know, just bring up something that uh, you've done in your life that was a sin against God. And as you're having that conversation, let's continue the conversation of how God is our substitute, or Jesus serves as our substitute. There's only one way that can happen, and that's because Jesus came to the earth, became a man, and lived a, sin, a sinless life. Um, he lived a perfect sinless life. So just talk about that, um, you know, and really just begin to dive into how God is our substitute. That's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, that's a great conversation for you guys to have um, around that big truth. And the last thing that we want to challenge you guys with is give you a Bible story for this week to really dig into. And so our Bible story this week is a little different. Uh, normally, sometimes we have what we call a narrative. So it's a, part, it's a story that you're kind of reading about and you're kind of following along. This one's not like that. It's from the book of Hebrews. Um, it's going to be super deep, which is why we think you guys in 3rd through 5th grade can handle it. So it's Hebrews chapter 9, uh, verses 11, verse 11 through chapter 10, verse 18. So Hebrews 9 and, and 10 right there. So here's why I think that's super important. It's because Hebrews, particularly in these chapters, talk about the sacrificial system. So you go all the way back to the Old Testament, God instituted a sacrificial system to make an atonement for sin. And so we see that all throughout Scripture, that there's, there's blood and there's death that's involved in order to atone for sin. Well, what Hebrews unpacks is that because Jesus came, he was the final sacrifice. And so there's no reason to, to do sacrifices anymore. Is that because Jesus it, it came uh, to be the final sacrifice. So why is that story in this guy? Well, again, it ties into our big truth that God is our substitute. So even though we deserve the punishment of death, right? 
Jesus took our place and he took on our punishment of death for our sin. What good news that is, that God is our substitute. So hey, I encourage you guys as a family, read through Hebrews 9 and 10, maybe even come up with some questions to ask and to kind of talk about, um, because that's a really deep, meaty passage of scripture. So we hope you guys have a great week uh, talking about that God is our substitute. And hey, we will see you right back here next week. See you guys.